Hello, welcome to my first lesson in 2021. Today we're going to be talking about relationships. We'll be looking at relationship collocations. What's a collocation? That's when two or more words go together and used together. For example, do homework or make a cake. <clears throat> Our first collocation is to make friends. When you go to university, you'll make lots of new friends. A common student mistake is to say find friends, but we don't say find, instead we use make friends. Number two is to strike up a friendship. That means to start a friendship. For example, Jack struck up a friendship with a girl he met on holiday. Collocation number three, to form or develop a friendship, but not to make a friendship. We make friends, but we don't make a friendship. Juliet formed a lasting friendship with the boy she sat next to at primary school. Next collocation is to cement or spoil a friendship. Cement means to make it something stronger, so to strengthen. Spoil is to make a friendship worse. Spending several weeks together in London during the pandemic has cemented their friendship. Collocation number five, a casual acquaintance. Acquaintance could be difficult to pronounce, so watch this. Acquaintance, acquaintance. We use this to talk about someone we don't know really well. So you can say, I don't know John well, we're just casual acquaintances. That means I know his name, I say hello to him, but I don't know much about him. My last collocation in friendship context is to keep in touch or keep in contact. The opposite is to lose touch or to lose contact. We must keep in touch after the course ends. I want to keep seeing you. Right, I'm really excited for this part of the lesson because I have a surprise for you. I got some help from two very close friends and the best couple I've known in London to teach you some love-related collocations. Let's have a look at their relationship. Um, I fell madly in love with Rushan from the very moment I saw him. It was certainly love at first sight. I knew at once he was the love of my life, so when he asked me to marry him, I accepted his proposal immediately. So I think we will always love each other unconditionally. That's it, folks. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.